What's up, everybody? It's been a bit. <laughs> I can adequately say that now. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the world of racing, and welcome back to Art of Rally. Uh, there hasn't been videos for a bit. We'll just cover that right now. I realize that. Uh, and long and short of it, I need a little break. Sometimes you just need that. So, but we're back now. <laughs> That's this kind of just goes with the thing. I won't go on up a big rant on this, but anybody I tell that wants to do YouTube stuff in particular, if you're gonna post videos, post them how you want to. You know, if you need to not for a while, do it. <laughs> so sometimes you just need a break. And what's great is that I've gotten to play some interesting games and been able to get pretty far along with others I was working on. Uh, for example, Art of Rally. So let's get into it. This is my review of the game. I am near the end of the game at this point. I played more of this than I thought I would, which was, at the beginning, kind of surprising. Um, before we get into just a few events, I'll talk just a little bit about the game. It's, uh... Boy, if you watched the first video... Thanks! <laughs> but if you didn't, this is a very different style of rally racing game than a lot of the, uh rally racing games that exist out there, or any racing games in general. They're normally that kind of closer third-person perspective. This is more of a race top view perspective of rally, but not quite straight up and down. Uh, it's almost like if you had a drone or a helicopter flying behind the car. <laughs> That's a better way to <laughs> compare it. It's a little different, um, and I wasn't sure if I liked the style initially. It's very challenging, and um, Art of Rally ends up actually suffering kind of what a lot of these racing games do, and I say suffering not always is a bad thing. Uh, lots of times, the farther you get into the game, events tend to be longer and take a longer chunk of time, which makes them less enjoyable to do. Not always, but sometimes. Uh, and this one kind of did that. I think it was around Group B that some of the events were... You had four different... Like four, you'd have like, what was it? Oh, it was almost like six. Six to seven different races or uh, chunks of the rally segment you had to do for one event. But there was like three events. So there was six or seven, six or seven, six or seven. And that was just one. Like inside like Group B you have, and that was just be one of those. And it would take so long. <laughs> um, which again, the game is fun and they, they compensate you not having to sit and play through all of that because it takes a lot of time to do that by at the end of each leg of the rally you can stop and go to the menu and it'll save your progress which I like, I did like that um, but I really wasn't using it for a good chunk of the game because I wanted to play for a bit um, it just took a little longer to get through group B and then group S took a chunk of time <laughs> um, and even going through group A so far we're all the way up to 1995 and I'm assuming these are going to be quite lengthy. So, but that doesn't take away from the experience of the game overall. It is an excellent rally game. It, it, it's fun in the sense that it's very challenging. The handling is difficult. The cars, it's hard to control the drifting and the sliding, which is fair. I don't like the water levels. <laughs> And though the tracks in all the Asian locations in the game are super pretty, they're very, very challenging. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, water, water, uh, rainy levels? No, 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 I'm not a fan. So let's get in here, and we'll do a few examples, and I'll keep talking about the game as we go. Because I end up, this is one of those that if I talk too much while I race, I, I will mess up. But that's part of the fun, right? So we've got a couple options. And normally, when I f did the first video, I was really only playing one car. Um, I learned that jumping around a bit is a good thing because it helps you get more comfortable with others and you realize, oh, this one's more fit for how I play or better play style for me per group. And I've played... What have I messed with? I've messed with this one. I messed with... This is... A, this is they're, again, they're all based off real cars, but they're not using the real names. This one was made... This is a Toyota, and I don't remember the name of it. Um, it starts with a C. I just can't remember the name. I raced with that one. This is the Subaru, obviously. We're probably going to take this one, because I did enjoy racing with this. Um, so obviously, this is the end of the game. These cars are faster. They're harder to control, but they provide more power. You can do more with them. Um, they jump farther, <laughs> which is 
very much a double-edged sword. <laughs> uh, but let's go in and we'll do just a few... A few. I'm not going to do an entire thing. This is going to take forever, trust me. Um, but I really like the look of this... Woo! How they have this, um... Like, the skins you can get for the cars. So, like, we got some special ones in here. I have unlocked for this guy. Oh, look at the gradient! Yeah, this is one of them. I really wanted to use this one. I think I have one more. Is that it? That's it. Okay. That's fine. I'm down for that. This is very pretty. The little history they give you is pretty sweet. So, I kind of enjoy it as you've un as I've unlocked them. It's been kind of fun to read. So, and the fact that everything in the game is in lowercase when it comes to text is such a, like, weird style for this game. I love it. So, just the subtle detail that they changed. I'm like, I like it. It's good. Oh, see? And here's a good example. <laughs> One of three rallies. Bump on the mic there. And there's... <laughs> Five events for each one. We're not going to do all of these. Hopefully we get a good mix and I'll show off some of my favorites. Driving at night is terrifying but very fun. Driving in fog is manageable. Rainy levels are not fun. Um, almost to a, like, I really wish I, they didn't exist, but, you know, it's meant to be more realistic, which is fair. All right. <sighs> let's let's get in on this. Oh, also, the map we were messing around with, where we unlocked, where there was things to pick up, like collectibles. I did all of that for every single map they had available. And when you get the uh, the tapes, there was like cassette tapes. And if you collected all of those, it didn't wasn't just a collectible. After you got them all for each world, it unlocked more of the soundtrack. So I've actually been able to enjoy more of the full soundtrack for the game while playing because I unlocked all those so early, which is kind of cool. Because this soundtrack we're hearing right now is different. Oh boy, here we go. Oh boy, all right. I have, like I said, like I've been playing other stuff, and I kind of finished this a little while ago, so I'm trying to remember the sensitivity for this game. Woo! Oh. <laughs> it doesn't help when you're looking at like what's the next racing game we'll play, and then you play a little bit of that one, and then you have to come back to this one. Oh, it's this type of map, which I don't like because of the stones. There we go. Nice. With these faster cars, there's a lot more uh, predicting you have to do and, and, and brake prep. Oof. And, you know, I've learned it's okay to slow down to a stop. Don't think you have to just jackknife around everything and get a perfect turn, which I've learned to get realistic. Ooh. <laughs> stop, stop gunning it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> It is trying to, for it to be more realistic with how it would slide, and I think that's cool. It, whether it's tarmac, or it's gravel, or wet gravel and dirt, or wet pavement, it's it pretty it seems pretty faithful to that. And like, if you're driving in the grass, there's a benefit to you trying to drive to stay on the road, even if it means suffering a little bit of a sideways slide like that, you'll save more speed than if you try to cut corners or things like that. Oh boy. Ugh! Go, 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 go. But I love the attention to detail on the vehicles. Not just the cool little paint jobs they give them, and the ones you can get for, like, completing events, but, uh, like, skid marks, the sliding, the sound the design that they have for these, just these little guys is so cool, because the engines sound great, and the... <laughs> just the exhaust. <laughs> There's a term for that when they... Oh, no, don't slide too far off the track, it'll reset me. Um... Oh boy, when the exhaust flares like that, a little bit of the fire coming out. I played a bunch of Audis, uh, I got through Group B, I think I mentioned that in the first video. I got through Group B and got to play with the Audi Quattro, which was a lot of fun. And it has that, like, whistling whine that everyone knows, that knows Rally, uh, is familiar with, with that very, very familiar, uh, ah, uh, Audi, oh, I got too far off the track, it's fine. That adds five seconds onto your time, which isn't great. If you drive fast enough, it's fine. Oh, I thought I could swing that. It didn't slide as much as I wanted. All right. Oh, no, no, we're in the the tombstones. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not what they are, but they look a lot like that, and it ends up bringing my doom when I take corners. You just can't mess up at all with these. Oh, man, why? Why? Person, you ran out in the middle of the road. Please don't do that. Ah! Ow. 
that's another thing. There's a bunch of stuff like damage related. I have damage on normal, which really hasn't affected... I've played almost the entire game at this point, and I've never gotten the damage beyond just the car's dirty. Even though I've had some pretty impressive crashes and hit stuff really hard, I'm assuming I would have, have to I would have to turn the damage up pretty high to Oh boy, nope, 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 nope. Ah bushes! That was not a bush, that was the side of the hill. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I'm probably not gonna get a very good time on this, but that's okay, because I'm talking way too much, but it's fine. Oh, look at the sunset! Okay, so that's another thing we need to talk about. This game, for the art style that it is, uh, is incredibly beautiful. It's The lighting is very impressive. Uh, the environments are very, very well done, and they're very pretty. And they fit the aesthetic that they were going for with this, like, simplistic um, polygon look. Kind of, I don't want to call it retro, because it's not retro. Um, I don't know, it's just a simplified art style, simplified look that they did really well with their color choice um, and how they designed everything to look. And boy, it's so hard to do two things at once here. It's part of the fun, right? Oh boy, I can't show off how much I've uh, quote-unquote improved. Ah! <laughs> Oh, on the note with the little things, yeah, we only got second here, but that's okay. Um, oh, there's also still this little bug. The game still freaks out after the, every first race you do in the game, it does this. It locks up, and then it jumps to the next screen. It doesn't, like, do the replay screen like it does every other time. Mmm! We get to do night level! This is gonna be terrifying. But I love the look of the uh, Subaru with its headlights. And the nighttime, it's very pretty. Oh, let's do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, oh, I hit it a little bit. We're good. I love how this looks. It's terrifying, but I, it's just, again, the lighting, it's so good. Ah! Oof. I mentioned this in the first video when I was just starting to play the game, but yeah, like, throttle control is such a big thing, and it's okay to slow down. This game is meant to be more of a realistic simulator of real rally, so you can't just go into a corner full speed and expect to just super drift around everything! Woo! There's the brakes. <laughs> it's hard to predict how fast you need to go around certain- Oh, turns! Woo, that was good! Good. Yeah. You may not think you're doing well if you have to slow down a lot, but to be honest, it'll save you more time than not, because otherwise you're either going to get a plus five or you're going to slide off the track and hit something. Which, to be honest, in some cases can be worse than a plus five, particularly if you hit these things. They will slow you down. Uh, ah, okay, and then you have to be very careful with the handbrake. Certain vehicles are better that I've noticed with the handbrake. Like, there's another one in this group that... Uh, it actually might be the Toyota. It's a much better... Like, works a lot better with the handbrake. Oh, no. Oh... Nope, nope, nope. The Subaru does not. You can tend to use its own uh, throttle and brake to do most of your sliding if you need to. Ah! Unless you do that! Whoa! <laughs> Almost a 360. It became a lighthouse there for a minute. Ooh, do you see how much faster we're going? We got up to like 120 there or something. I glanced at it for half a second and was like, this is where uh, we climb to a wall. <laughs> but yeah, you get going a lot faster with uh, this class, which obviously makes sense. Oh, I love... Okay, obviously I mentioned it already, and I mentioned it in the first video, and I mentioned it again. The brakes glowing is such a nice feature. 
It's something so subtle. Um, but I can't think of any other games that put a big emphasis on the brakes glowing. And if you've ever watched, like, a real-life racing event, the brakes glow. Particularly for long races and stuff. Like, I'm thinking of some of the ones they do in Europe. Um, where they race for a really long time and they actually just switch out the brakes. So, it's just a really nice detail and it stands out so much uh, when it's during the night levels. I just love it. Woof! Also, if you've noticed, um, the length of track is also a big thing that I have... Ooh, takes takes a lot longer, too. Some of these go from two miles, two and a half miles, to sometimes eight miles long. And sometimes you'll have events where, like, one of the rallies, all the different segments will be... They'll all be sevens or eights, or sixes, all combined, and it takes a really long time. There's a big difference between doing that and having, like, uh, five two-mile ones, obviously. There's a big difference. So, anyway, it's just another thing. It's like, this game can take a while, but again, they have this good mechanic they put in so that when you're done with the events... Oh, it's so cool. Um, there we go. We got first in that one. You can leave right here or leave before you start the next event. And save and quit to menu, which again, great design. I really wish that a lot of other games had that. Because um, a lot of times they're like, you have to race all this in one go. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> like, any of you who played Mario Kart Double Dash, there was the All Tour Cup or something like that, where you had to play every single track and perfect every single track, and that was already frustrating enough if you messed up, <laughs> but you you had to just be perfect at it. Oh, see, here's a good example of the repairs. You can just auto-repair, but the cars, it just cleans the car, that's all it does. So, but you could never, you had to just play that whole thing in one go, you couldn't save so I appreciate that even though some of these rally events take a lot longer, um, they have a mechanic that lets you leave uh, and come back later. It makes it a lot more enjoyable, and I'm like, okay, great, well, I will come back and I will finish this later. So it's one of the things that made me play more than I thought I would, because I didn't think I was going to play as much as this of this last group of the game. I was going to do a video on this a lot earlier, but I kind of, you know, like I mentioned... I was kind of on a break from making videos for a bit, um, and just in that time, I played more of the game because I wanted to, which is a good sign. <laughs> it's a, uh, a good game. <laughs> it is It is definitely a little more challenging, and you have to get a little more used to with the uh, camera that's higher up. You cannot adjust it any more than this. I even think I got it a little closer or moved it somewhat. I don't even know if you can move it that much. If I did, it was I was like at the beginning of the game. daytime, I should be able to read these a little bit better. Oh, don't do it! Oh! I was trying to read that corner better. <laughs> I didn't want to spin out, but... Uh. Oh, come on. Here we go. Oh, there's a quick little turn. Ah! Oh, yeah. Hitting the hay bales there is worse than hitting stone. Because the hay bales, for some reason, make you launch up into the air which wastes more time. And I do think it's strange that there's a sound effect that plays when the vehicle leaves the ground, even if it's just a little bit. There's like this thud. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much ground you get, it's always just boom, boom. And it's a nice, neat sound. Don't go too far off. We're good, we're good, we're good. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those, it's like, oh, getting air here. Boom. That was that was actually for the angle I took. That was better than it. You know, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, that thud you normally don't hear because the engine is running when you go over jumps and stuff. But for little hops and things, when you accidentally hit a bump somewhere, you'll hear the thud pretty loud. It's a deep it's a deep bass thud. Oh man, these ah! Oh, we're back in the back in the danger zone. I would love to do a little bit of one of the, uh, I don't, is, I think it's, oh, I can't remember if it's, it's in Asia or, it's, it's in Asia. <sighs> it's either in China or Japan, I don't remember specifically where. I think it's Japan? Ooh, hoo -hoo. <laughs> That was way too close.
Oh boy, woohoo! Okay, there we go. I'll see what the, the next event is like two miles long and we'll see. Oh no, don't do that, no! The hitboxes are pretty accurate with these things. I, I will give it that. Um, I do like the fact that it is more realistic with that. Because you could, you could kind of fudge it a little bit with the car models, but I'm glad that they're pretty realistic. Even if it is frustrating when you hit the same hay bale like three times because you're trying to get around it, you just don't line up your car right. Oh, and I ran right into it. No, 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 get off! <laughs> oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Analyzing of that. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Should we do a sideways finish. <gasps> Into the bush. <laughs> All right. Let's see where the next one is. Uh, it might. Where is it going to be at? Oh, we're still in the same place. I want to show off just a little bit of the um, the pink petals, the pink petal trees. Um, so we're going to save and quit the menu. Yeah. And we're going to go. Oh, something else I should mention. Um, they have these online events, which I've only done a few times. They have a daily event, which is one like leg of a rally, and then a weekly event, which is a much more longer group. Only did it once, but kind of fun. Compete to get the best time. Ignore the fact that all these pictures on the main screen are me figuring out how to take screenshots in the game. I took like 12, so there's just too many. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm trying. To, I think it's. I think it's this area. Yeah, this is it. Definitely. I'm trying to think, what would be a good. Not rain, not fog. We need to have it be pretty. Should we do like morning or should we do like sunset? That would probably be prettier. Do sunset? Sure. Um, we're definitely gonna go to group A. Oh, that's right. We have all the unlocked vehicles. Should we do one of these? <laughs> I forgot this was a thing because you can't pick them for the normal rallies. So they're like special vehicles you can unlock once you get farther in the game. You have this wood truck. I think if I'm gonna do any of these, it's gonna be the. Uh, this dude, because these are crazy looking. Um, oh, but I wanted... Uh, I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll, mm. No, why not? We'll do something weird. Um, we have other skins for this thing, right? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Let's do the original. This is... Uh, oh, I don't even know what they're called. This is going to go very badly. This thing's huge. Oh, man. Oh, it's so slow. What is this thing? <laughs> I might have to change this. It's interesting, though. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's so big. We're gonna go off-road? <sighs> well, we could totally do that. <gasps> Here we go! <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, so here's the trees that I said were really pretty. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. There's a, uh, a whole thing with this game that... Um... <laughs> you can... Uh, there's hashtags on the bottom, and I don't know if it's, like, the name of the vehicle... Or something, I don't recall. Oh, these things, this is not, no. It's fun for goofing around, but this thing's too big. <laughs> oh, no, 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 let's not do that. <laughs> That's funny, though. I'll give it that. Um, let's see. One, one more. We'll try that again. Um, we'll do sunset. We'll go back to group A. We'll try that again. <laughs> that was very funny. See, let's do the Toyota this time. I've messed with that a bit. Um, we'll do the classic paint job for that that you see in most rallies. Right, let's do it. Let's go. Well, it's gonna definitely a much higher pitch engine than the Subaru. Oh, paint job. No, wait, I don't want a new paint job. 
I like this one. Ah! Oh, this one's got kind of the, the, the wine whistle with it, which is kind of cool. Oh, here we go. This is definitely a very pretty environment, but these uh, these environments are much more challenging. So as much as you get these pink blossoms that are very pretty, it is very, very hard to race here. So, I feel like everything I've talked about has kind of surmised all my thoughts about the game! <laughs> so we just go down here, and there we go. <laughs> Twin Turbo, cool. That's probably is the name of the vehicle. Um, but... So, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, coming back to this game. I have enjoyed this more than I thought I would. I had to give it some time to kind of figure out how difficult... Like, the game is meant to be challenging, and it's meant to be hard. Um, it is not like a lot of uh, arcade-style racing. Like, there's a little bit of arcade to it, but it, it is much have much more of a realistic feel to it. Uh, with a very simplistic but cool, vibrant polygon art style. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. There probably is an actual name for it, but whatever. It's fine. Ah! Focusing way too much. Oh, no, don't try them there. <laughs> oh, boy. Woo! So, but yeah, I would highly recommend it to anybody who wants to get into a little bit of a different style of racing game, but also anybody who loves rally racing games. Um, and the game is still being supported. They keep releasing content. Oh, there we go. Ah! <laughs> oh, there's that thud. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're look I guess they're looking to push another update here soon. I don't know if it'll add anything crazy, but um, if it does, maybe I'll come back. Nice, that was a good recovery drift. Woo! Ah! Elevation! Look how pretty it is. Alright, well, I think I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, look forward to more racing videos. we got more to come. I just picked up another one that's a totally different style. It's not Rally at all. Don't know how much of it we'll play, but we'll check it out together uh, here in a little bit. So, look forward to that. Ah! Oh, woohoo! <laughs> and home in time for dinner. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching some more racing content, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next videos. <laughs> oh boy. Bye.